what is the cross bridge cycle dealing with? What part of what we just talked about? Maybe it's just the same that the, within the circle we the actin and the myosin filaments. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much we're zooming in just the actin and the myosin. That's all we're really caring about, caring about right now. So I'm just going to draw this line that represents our actin with all the circles. And here's our myosin head. What I didn't draw before is that there is something already attached to this head. I don't know. The ADP? Mm -hmm. ADP with another phosphate hanging out the side. Oh, okay, that's right. So what comes in that allows us to attach? Calcium. Calcium. We've got our calcium comes in. So now this guy attaches or moves closer. What's going to happen to this ADP and phosphate? The phosphate going to break off. Mm -hmm. And the ADP. And the ADP. They both leave, yeah. And when that happens... I'm trying to figure out when the ATP comes in and then that breaks into the ATP and the yeah. ADP. ATP is what causes your muscles to relax. It, it's what causes these, these guys to break their bond again. So, but at this point, he just shed, he just lost his uh, ADP and his phosphate. He got rid of that. And when that happens, he changes from an angle to more of a straight up and down thing. And that's what causes the contraction. Because he goes up, grabs on, and then pulls like that. Does that make sense? And this kind of whole thing right here between these two, it's called a power stroke, because that's where the actual contraction is occurring. Then we don't want our muscles to stay contracted forever. So something needs to break that bond. And what did I say that was? I'm going to guess acetylcholine, but that's probably wrong. Not acetylcholine. We just has to do it's related to these guys. It's not the ATP. Yeah. It's ATP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good job. So ATP comes in, and right now he's still bound, but ATP comes in and binds to the head also. And in order to get back to this, and it breaks and branches off. Yeah, exactly. This breaks the bond. Uh, actually, I think at this point maybe we should draw it like this. So it pulled it off, but then in order for it to recock, to you know, re come at an angle again. It's got to break down the ATP, and it does that. It breaks it down an ADP and a phosphate, and then it kind of recocks itself, and then just does it over and over again. And that's the cross bridge cycle. So it's just the same cycle. So is it just one ATP? It takes one ATP to do that cycle. Mm -hmm. And does the ATP get recycled every time and get used over and over and over, or is it? A new ATP every time. I think it's a new one because it gets broken down as it off as this, and I'm not sure what happens to that. But uh, yeah, new ATP, a lot of ATP there to be used. So and ATP is just energy, right? Mm-hmm. But that's, what's the difference between that and ADP? Anyone know? ADP. What's the difference between ATP and ADP? I mean, the one has a phosphate. Yeah, it's just one more phosphate. Yeah. Exactly, so ATP is adenosine triphosphate. ADP is adenosine diphosphate. It's only got two, less energy. And then, yeah. Okay. So it's coming together a little bit more, muscle mm -hmm. contraction? Yeah. Yeah. Good. That was kind of wild. I think I understand this section better than the last one. And the last yeah, one, the last was one was so weird. What was the last one? It's called chemistry. Oh, the last one was more cars. basic, but I think it just had like a whole bunch of like f fatty acids. Yeah. Just all those different things. I was like, I yeah, because you have to do well. There's just a lot to memorize for each one. Yeah. Because carbohydrates, there's a bunch of different ones. There's like the monosaccharides, the disaccharides, then polysaccharides, and you had all the fats. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was I was confused them too. Yeah. For me, that was, the, that was the hardest thing, just knowing all the different tails and what they are composed of and the saturated, unsaturated. Yeah.